you saw right through my disguise. Odd. Oh, even the Shrine Maiden often struggles to find me. Huh? My tail was sticking out? Ah, I must have been too nervous and failed to fully utilize my ninjutsu technique. So, uh, what do you need? Well, uh, I heard that Shimmer has added a delicious new dish to their menu. And Yai Publishing House has some good light novels. Oh, and the dip in Isa Bathhouse is always nice. So, uh, you know... Today's weather is perfect for... All that stuff. So, what can I do for you? N no, really. I'm not up to anything. I'm just a little tired and thought I could use a good nap. <sighs> I'll be going now. D don't bother chasing me again. You won't be able to catch me anyway. Oh no, anything but that. Uh, you're just as difficult as the Shrine Maiden. Come on, just let me go, would you? Oh, fine. But if I tell you the truth, I don't want to hear any complaints, no matter how crazy the truth may seem. So, you know I'm in the Shumatsuban, right? Well, it's our job to take care of matters that are inconvenient to the higher-ups. Which sometimes includes eliminating unwanted targets. Huh? Doesn't that intimidate you even a little bit? You do know what that means, right? And still no reaction, huh? Don't tell me it's because of my height. <sighs> anyway, assassinations are a terrible thing. You should at least try to express a little concern. Uh, actually, according to my orders, you are. Though I have no intention of really attacking you. I don't get it. They never assign me this kind of mission. There's loads of other suitable operatives. <sighs> All this craziness is starting to interfere with my sleep schedule. I just dropped by to see how you were doing. I was glad to see that you're okay. I was worried about how you'd react. I mean, who knows what you'd do if you knew that I was out to kill you. Yet, when I told you, you didn't so much as flinch. I guess that actually made me feel a lot better. Who do you want to talk to? Someone in the Yashiro Commission? She's the one who's been assigned to supervise my work. She always tries to catch me whenever I'm slacking off. Basically, it's her duty to keep me from napping. But... She would probably know more about the origins of my mission. Fine... I'll take you to her. But I'll have to hide somewhere in the distance. If she catches me anywhere near there, I'll never hear the end of it. And then they'll sentence me to all kinds of work, which will really cut into my time for napping. Please, she's quite perceptive. You mustn't tell her that you've seen me anywhere. You got that? We have a deal. No word about me. Uh, where has she run off to this time? Huh? I didn't expect to see you here. You're the Traveler, right? It's a pleasure to meet you. Yes, Miss Kamisato has spoken of you before. You seem familiar. It appears my intuitions were correct. May I ask what brings you here? It just so happens I'm looking for a little child by the name of Sayu. She's a ninja, with a nasty habit of disappearing the moment I turn around. <sighs> she's always neglectful of her duties. She often comes here to take a nap, but it seems she's already predicted that I would come looking for her. You haven't happened to see her anywhere, have you? She's wearing a Mojina costume. Pretty hard to miss. Really? Well then, I suppose I'll just have to keep searching for her. Oh? How could that be? How did you catch wind of this? Did you encounter the ninja tasked with the matter? Huh... Well, I'm sure there's no need to worry. You're probably just overthinking things. After all, 
You have been of great service to the Yashiro Commission, and many are thankful for your actions. How could anyone even consider dispatching a ninja to attack you? Like Sayu? You mean to say that this matter is related to Sayu? There's absolutely no need to worry about Sayu. If anything, she's extremely loyal and would never act presumptuously. Though she often neglects her duties as a ninja and seems to never heed instructions, she's certainly not one to go against our principles. Given her age, such portentous tasks are not assigned to her. What's the matter? Are you still worried? All right, just to be sure, I shall personally inquire about this matter with the Yashiro Commission. Though I am the Shrine Maiden, it is also part of my duties to take on work from the Shumatsuban. I'll be sure to look into it. I'm curious myself what could be the cause of such absurd rumors. My intuition tells me that Sayu's mischief might be behind this whole misunderstanding. Are you completely certain that you haven't seen her around recently? Huh? Aha! Sayu, I can see you! Come out from there! Don't even think about trying to sneak away! Come over here! This instant! Hmm... It does appear that Sayu has really been given a mission to assassinate you. Which wasn't assigned by me, of course. I apologize. I'm afraid I did not treat this matter with due sincerity. I shall take these orders back to the Yashiro Commission for further clarification. Good. <sighs> well, if there's nothing left for me to do, then I'll be... Ahem. <laughs> Sayu! Oh, uh, yes? Where do you think you're off to? You have ninjutsu training to complete, so you shall return with me to Chinju Forest. Yes, but you know, an exceptional ninja must not only work hard, but also have ample rest. <sighs> it happens to be time for my nap, so I'll see you next time. Goodbye and good night. You're coming with me, even if I have to carry you, Sayu. Is that what you want? Oh, no need. I'm sorry. I'll come quietly. In which case... Traveler, will you come with us too? I promise there won't be any trouble. I need a bit of your time, that's all. I helped you by bringing you to the Shrine Maiden, so now you need to return the favor. <sighs> I honestly hope you're not up to something again, Sayu. <sighs> We've arrived. All right. I will go to the Yashiro Commission now to inquire about Sayu's mission orders. In the meantime, please keep an eye on her. Sayu, you can start by warming up. Though you may often be difficult for me, I certainly will not abide any trouble for the Traveler. Understand? Yes, ma'am. Good. She's gone. Phew. No more work for today. <laughs> Actually, I invited you to come as a helper. No need to go into too much detail. The Shrine Maiden is terrifying. As soon as she picks up on my tracks, it's nearly impossible for me to shake her. But you are also super skilled, so maybe you can help me. Huh? You mean you won't rescue someone in a moment of dire need? All that goes on here is cruel and involuntary labor. Is it wrong to wish for ample rest? How else can I ever reach my growth spurt? I'm not being unreasonable. Don't you know? There are tons of benefits to sleeping. You can regain energy, clear your mind, pass the time, and escape from all your troubles. But most importantly, sleep helps you grow. And I've got plenty of growing to do. That's right. The other ninja can leap up tall trees in a single bound and pick the tasty fruit way up high. Being tall is the key to everything. All the other ninja my age are already way taller than me. Sensei told me that kids only have one chance to grow up and that I'll miss my chance if I keep slacking off. Of course it is. 
Haven't you seen someone suddenly grow taller while they're sleeping? It happens all the time. Though, I guess it does sound silly when you think about it. Ugh, never mind. The longer I talk to you, the more you'll convince me otherwise. Besides, what's wrong with wanting a little more sleep? <sighs> See? I'm already crazy tired. Exactly. At first, I only wanted to grow as fast as possible. But as I started sleeping more every day, the sleepier I became. The sleepier I became, the more I slept. <sighs> Even right now, I'm awake and talking with you, but my brain still feels half asleep. Trust me, work is the last thing on my mind. Maybe you can help me. Even though I've been getting more sleep recently, I haven't gained any height at all. Any ideas? Huh? You're saying there's a way to grow taller while I'm awake too? Yes... You do have a point... Hmm... It's nothing compared to the adults. Just a little food is enough to make me full. I usually prefer eating fruit rather than those big filling dishes. But I think I get it now. With more nutrients, people can grow bigger and taller. If anybody can eat a lot, it's the samurai. I should follow their example. <laughs> I guess. Let's head into town and find something to eat. We won't be able to go anywhere when she's around. Now's our only chance. Oh, something smells amazing here. It smells so good that I'd even wake up to find where it's coming from. Welcome to Kiminami Restaurant. What can I get for the two of you? Oh, hmm, let me think. I'll have rice cake soup, a tuna sushi, a tricolor dango. Oh, and one tri flavored skewer, please. Time waits for no one. It's time for me to take things into my own hands. If I can't grill more by eating more, then we'll still have time to try something else. I've always taken a proactive approach to growing taller. I can even overcome my sleepiness if I need to. Speaking of which, I've never been able to eat very much in one sitting. I thought I could try and see what my limits are this time. But... If I can't finish it all, would you help me? Ugh, no, that's no good. I've got to stay positive. I know I can finish it all. Yay, thanks! That way, I don't have to worry about any of the food going to waste. Eating food like this will help me grow right away, won't it? Maybe I'll gain a whole six inches. Yeah, you might be right. Let's eat everything up and find out. and accepting extremely difficult tasks. No, no, that can't be it. 
Actually, I haven't kept a good balance of sleep and training. But that's because I feel sleepy way more often than I feel energetic. Hmm... I get it now. I need to do more training with you. Adventuring, combat... I need to do it all. Pardon my eavesdropping, but did you say that you're going to the Adventurer's Guild to take a commission? Recently, we've been running into a group of rowdy treasure hoarders whenever we go into the wild to gather ingredients. It seems as if they're intentionally targeting our restaurant staff. Ugh, I hope you can understand how dire the situation has become. This matter has been taking a real toll on our business. Since I've already submitted the commission to Catherine, perhaps you can consider helping us out? Treasure hoarders, huh? Well, bad guys are the best practice targets for ninjutsu. Great! You have my thanks. Uh, let me show you where the treasure hoarders have been most active these days. Anna was right. There's the treasure hoarders. All that food we just ate is weighing me down a bit, but I think we can still handle them. Alright, last one. Watch this! Oh no! Ah! How? How could this happen? No, it's all that big brute's fault. Just as I was taking care of the last of them, he charged straight at me. I moved back to dodge him, but he was too tall. As he reached out to grab me, his hand landed right on my head. It's over. It's all over. All that hard work for nothing. He crossed the line. Everyone knows that if you're trying to grow taller, you can't be touched on the head. Of course. I never let anyone touch my head. Who knows how much I'll have to eat and sleep or how much training I'll have to do to make up for it. It's a real bummer, you know. I see you're just trying to comfort me. Thanks. It's not fun to be patted on the head. But what's done is done. There's nothing I can do about it now. Ugh, just forget it. I give up on growing. I'm not gonna grow any taller today, that's for sure. Sorry, I don't want to bum you out with my terrible mood. I should probably just go back now. The Shrine Maiden's gonna give me a real earful. Might as well get it over with. I get it. I'll try to look at the bright side. I was too anxious about growing, and now I'm being punished by the Archons. No, no need. I don't want to trouble you anymore. Maybe my stunted growth is tied to my bad attitude more than anything else. Getting you involved any further will just be a waste of your time. Huh? The feeling of growing? What do you mean? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm after. Reach higher and see farther? Really? Sounds good. I appreciate all your help. You had me worried on the way here, you know? I seriously wondered if you were taking me to the Kamisato residence or the shrine. But you weren't kidding. I can see much farther from here. Somehow, I feel a little better after coming up so high. Hmm, no, nothing particularly special. I'd simply like to go to the forest and pick some fruit from the trees without having to jump or find something to step on. Just that would be enough to make me happy. I'd also like to go swimming in water that's too deep for me now. And no one will tease me anymore for my toes not being able to touch the bottom. Oh, oh, and I'll be able to eat more too, and stop wasting food all the time. Oh, and not to mention, I'll become more free too. I won't need to have a guardian to look after me, and the Shrine Maiden won't be out to catch me anymore. I'll even be able to visit other places for training. I'll go wherever I want, and sleep wherever I want. <laughs> Imagine, no need to catch up on naps anymore. That will be the day. <sighs> By the way, do 
you happen to need anyone with ninjutsu skills to accompany you on your adventures? Hmm, see? You still see me by my current height. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll be even taller than you one day. Just wait till I'm taller. You won't need to worry about me ever again. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Thanks. From now on, I'll visit high places more often. They really do work miracles. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, I see. So what should I do?